Hey everyone, welcome to our annual performance update. In this video, I wanna take a few minutes to go over the trades for the month of December, and then we're gonna go over the entire year of 2019, including a breakdown of performance by strategy. So let's jump in. Starting with December, total profit $1,742, average profit per trade, $69.68. We had 20 winners, five losers, 25 total trades closed in December for an 80% win rate. We traded seven different strategies, including short strangles, iron ducks, reverse iron ducks, weekly double calendars, pre-earnings long straddle, pre-earnings long strangle, and an earnings iron duck. So let's take a look. Let's go over to the performance page. And these are all the trades that we closed. So starting off with the beginning of the month, we had a Shopify reverse iron duck, took a loss on that one. Shopify continued to explode higher, which gave us a second loss here. So two big, pretty decent sized losses in Shopify that held back our performance in December. We also did a oil short strangle for booked a $520 profit there. Did a weekly double calendar in rut for 460 an earnings iron duck in RH for 126, Google iron duck for 120, Ulta earnings iron duck for 130 bucks, Roku did a reverse iron duck for 122, SPX iron duck for 115, booking.com did an iron duck for 170, oil an iron duck made 150 on that one. And then we did a couple pre-earnings trades, a long strangle long straddle took losses on both of those, never got a chance to make a profit before the earnings announcement on those. In SPX, did another iron duck for 120. Roku, another reverse iron duck for 192. In Lululemon, did an earnings iron duck for 119. Amazon had a couple iron ducks for 124 and 116. In 6B, which is the British pound, we did a short strangle, booked a nice profit of 500 on that one. In RUT, weekly double calendar, took a loss on that one of 665. SPX Iron Duck for 165. Shopify, we got some of that money back that they owed us. Did a reverse Iron Duck, booked over $1,000 on that trade. In SPX, took another winner at 110. Rut, weekly double calendar for 90. And FDX, a small winner for an Iron Duck for 85 bucks, giving us a total profit on our closed trades for December of 1,742. So that's December. Let's take a look at the annual stats here. For 2019, you can see, and I know this is kind of small, but if you can see, these are our monthly booked profits on our closed trades each month, giving us a total profit for the year of 23,924.51. We had an 83.1% winning percentage. So that's displayed here as well. 166 total closed trades, average profit per trade, 144 bucks for that winning percentage of 83.1. So good year for the good kids. Now keep in mind, I'm going to pull up a chart of the S&P 500 and this shows the year to date percentage. So the S&P 500 was up over 28% for 2019. And think about this. We were carrying short Delta the entire year, meaning we had our portfolio had a short bias the entire year. And this was the best year that we've seen in the S&P 500 in six years. Since 2013, this is the strongest year we've seen. We were short the entire year and we were still profitable. So let that sink in. That's the power of the methodology. That's the power of the strategies that we teach. You can be wrong directionally and still make money. And that's exactly what happened here. All right, so let's jump into the different strategies that we traded this year and break down every strategy that we traded and talk about the profits within each one. Starting with the short strangle, no surprise, our biggest winner, total profit in short strangles of $14,560.51. Average profit per trade, $355.13. We had 41 winners, zero losers, 100% winning percentage. Good stuff, strangles are one of our favorites. Next, Iron Duck. Now, we just rolled out our Iron Duck strategy to our members at the beginning of October. So this is really just since October. Had total profit of 3230 
Average profit per trade, 161.50. 20 winners, zero losers. Again, 100% winning percentage on our iron ducks. Reverse iron ducks, a little bit different story. We only did six of them since that October rollout. Total profit, negative 208 bucks. Average profit, negative 34.67. Still had a winning percentage, but overall losing on those six. Now that's pretty small sample size. And I'm sure that's going to turn around when we look at the stats next year. But that's what it was for 2019. Iron Condors had a total profit of 1727 Average profit per trade, almost 108 bucks. Did 16 Iron Condors on the year and 88% winning percentage. Weekly Iron Condors, we categorize these differently because we manage them differently. We put them on with different days to expiration. We manage the winners and losers differently here. As you can see, these performed really well, over $5,400 in profits. Average profit, nice and high, over $900. Only did six of these, but very profitable with an 83% winning percentage on our weekly Iron Condor strategy. Iron Butterflies just did one of these, booked a small profit of 144 bucks. We did one broken wing iron butterfly. This was, I recall this one, this was in Beyond Meat. That thing just kept dropping. Anyway, ended up booking a loss of 650 bucks on that one. Regular butterflies, again, just did one. Booked a small profit of $94 on that one butterfly. One calendar spread, kind of surprising. We only did one of our monthly calendar spreads in SPX. Booked a nice profit of 540 on that trade. We also had a weekly double calendar, another strategy that we rolled out this year. I had 16 total trades, ended up taking a big loss on just one or two. It ended up taking this total profit to a negative 860 for the year, average profit of negative 5375 per trade. Still a winning percentage at 63%, but overall losing strategy in 2019. And again, this is about six months worth of data. So you know, fairly small subset, uh, and I expect it to be profitable going forward. Short put vertical had a couple uh, decent losers in here. Actually, at Apple and Facebook, we got caught in a downdraft in the market when we had these on. Ended up taking a loss of a little over twenty five hundred bucks on all of our short put verticals. And when I say all, we just did three of those. Long put verticals also slightly negative, minus 228 bucks on the year. Did seven of those with 57% uh, winners, but overall losing on the long put vertical strategy for 2019. Short call vertical did six of these, ended up pretty even, just took a small loss overall of about 27 bucks. Long call vertical, we did two of these, booked profits of $532. We had two long puts, took one loss on this, total loss $445 on the year. Pre-earnings long strangles. So these pre-earnings long strangles and straddles did not treat us well this year. Total profit minus $1,400 on the pre-earnings long strangle. We did four of those. And then the pre-earnings long straddle, we did eight of these. Eight pre-earnings long straddles, $139 in loss on those. Pre-earnings long calls treated us well. We did seven of those. Six of those were winners for over $1,300 in profits. Earnings iron ducks. So these are the iron duck strategies that we held over earnings. So we did 13 of these since October and booked over $1,700 on those. Post earnings short put verticals just did four of these, all four of which were winners, booked over $850 on that strategy. Post earnings short put, very similar. We're just doing a naked put instead of a vertical. Just did one of those, booked a nice little profit of 210. All strategies combined, total profit 21,924. Average profit for trade 132. 138 winners, 28 losers for overall an 83.1% winning percentage. So overall good year. And again, considering the just huge, strong up movement in the market with all of our short delta. That is very, very solid. So some of the questions that I get, first of all, what size account did we do this with? So as far as the amount of capital, we typically like to use anywhere from 20 or 30 up to 50% of our total capital, depending on where implied volatility is. If implied volatility is high, we like to use more. If implied volatility is lower, we like to use less capital. So capital used, buying power margin used 
throughout the year ranged anywhere from 20 to about $45,000 is what we had on at any one given time for all of our positions. The capital used for each trade, that's going to vary a little bit. Some trades we just, we use under a thousand dollars, you know, even as low as like 500 bucks up to several thousand dollars. So it just depends on the strategy, depends on the opportunity, but that's kind of the range. I would say between 500 and let's say $4,000 would be one of the top end type capital usage for one specific trade. So you can really do these in any size account. I mean, we, for the alerts portfolio, we trade minimal contracts under five. A lot of times it's just one or two contracts. So you're able to trade this in either a small account or you can scale up as large as you want. Third question, how long does each trade last? This varies as well. So some of our earnings trades, we might be in just overnight, just one day. And then some trades, we might extend duration, we may roll, we may extend those, and they may last several months. So it depends on the strategy, depends on the circumstance, but anywhere from very short term to a little bit longer. Do you teach us all the strategies? Yes, as part of our pro membership. Not only do we send the alerts, which are delivered via text message and email and also posted in the membership area, but we also teach you step-by-step how to trade every single one of these strategies. So if you're a newer trader and you don't understand what these strategies were that I just went over, don't worry about that. We teach you step-by-step video courses and we also have an awesome We call it the Trade Hacker Community, where you can post questions, pictures, screenshots, anything you want. And the Navigation Trading Team, as well as some of our expert members, will jump in and answer those questions very quickly. So you're never left in the dark. What time do we send out trade alerts? This depends a little bit, but we try to post most of our trade alerts in the morning to give our members plenty of time to check them out, analyze them, see if it fits in their portfolio, potentially enter them. But there are situations uh, where we will let trades expire. And sometimes that happens on Friday afternoon when the market closes. So the majority of the alerts are sent in the morning, but sometimes there are some that are sent near the close as well. And lastly, what is the time commitment? So once you learn these strategies, once you learn how to trade, you can literally put your trades on, take trades off, and be done within 15 minutes a day. So if there's any period throughout the day that you can log in to your account, open, close, do whatever you need to do in the trade in the platform, it can literally take you 15 minutes. Now, there is more of a time commitment learning. There is a learning curve. Some of our video courses have 20 plus videos that range anywhere from three to 15 minutes in length. So there is some work on the front end, but it is well well worth it. This is a lifetime skill that you can pass on for generations. It's in my mind, one of the best opportunities to build wealth. You know, if you compare it to building a business, you know, with a business, you, you might have inventory, you've got employees, you've got equipment, you've got insurance, you've got all these different things and moving parts that you have to rely on with trading. If you can have a laptop and an internet connection, you can do this from anywhere. No employees, no insurance, no nothing, you you know, no equipment. You don't have to have anything and you can be extremely, extremely profitable. So 2019 was a decent year. I look for 2020 to be even better. There's a lot of things on the horizon with trade war, the trade agreements, the election, potential, you know, the impeachment still hanging over, whatever that's worth. And, and so there's a lot of things uh, lingering into 2020 that are going to potentially create some volatility. We thrive on volatility. 2019 was a very difficult year because of just the uphill grind that we saw in the markets. And I look for 2020 to be much, much better. We will be doing a separate video specifically for our pro members, updating on all the open current positions and everything else that you get exclusively as a pro member. So if you're interested in checking that out, just go to navigationtrading.com. You can click on the big orange button on the upper right-hand corner, take a test drive. We have a 14-day trial for just a dollar if you want to check it out. We look forward to seeing you on the inside. Have a great year.